Hey, Tim! What? What are you doing? Changing tires. We're changing tires? <laughs> what is that? That's it's a machine air gun. <laughs> yeah, machine air gun. Uh, one inch impact gun. I got it from Napa. And that thing will twist the tits off of a cow. Don't you think? Now, yeah, let's see. Oh, you're going to demonstrate? Yeah, this thing is not focused. Oh, that's a nice one, huh? Oh. All right. Anyhow, we twisted them off already. Uh, because they're aluminum rims, you see that little bit of white powder and stuff on there. So I'm going to use some Never Seize, which is a never, never supposed to do kind of thing. Anyway, uh, a year ago, exactly, I put these tires on. These are Auroras. And I kind of like the Auroras, but um, I'm taking Continentals off. Go ahead and pull it off of there, Mr. Tim. Well, that's an odd rim. That is an odd rim. No, no, it's the Pending, uh. Look, look at the hole. Yeah, no, but that one's the same too. Have a look at that hole. They're round. What, is this one different? Oh, yeah. Okay, so anyways, uh, Timothy's going to learn how to take a tire off of the back. You gotta, you gotta, hey. What? What are you doing? First place. You gotta bring it out even. You want a video while I do it? Yes. Somewhat. And you just gotta walk them off. See that? Yeah. And you stick your fingers in here to shear them off. I mean your fingers, you know? But anyways, here we go. Camera's blurry. Your camera's blurry, what? No. That camera's blurry? Yeah. Ready? Is it still blurry? Shut it off and restart it. Okay, found out the camera issue. It was on macro. So, anyway. Hopefully we're not too far out. Right, Tim? Yep. Right. Okay, so we're taking these tires off now. Um, I just bought the second set of drives, the front set of drives. And, yes, yeah, so I ended up buying a piece of shit Chinese tire, which didn't make me very happy, but... They have assured me that the load range H Chinese tire is good. So, it's got a, it's got a year warranty on it. Um, I've got 100,000 miles on these Continentals. Yes, 100,000 miles on them. Tim, we got to break these down. Is there air coming out of there yet? No. So anyways, we're going to break these down and get them off of there. And I'm going to put these on. Uh, these are Summits. These are Springfield Kellys because I just... I just can't bring myself to put Chinese tires on on the front of my truck. So they're Kelly Springfields, made in America. So they claim they said made in the USA. I don't know where they where it says it on here, but I'll be god darned if I can see. Oh, there it is, right there, made in the USA. Hey, they do still make tires here. So, anyways, me and Mr. Tim here will get off your fat ass and start breaking these tires down. God, I swear to God, you got heart and ass disease again. So we might as well, uh, we might as well film this because do not hit my aluminum rims with a sledgehammer. Will you please not do stupid stuff today? Took the hair right off. 
My fingernails even feel a little funny. Anyway. All right, so that's tire number one. I guess we'll do the others, and uh, eh, we might as well fast forward it, right? Oh. Right? Yeah. All right, how many pounds you got in there? Really? Okay. Well, but Tim was afraid the tires were going to float away, weren't you? Yeah. Is this like Sasquatch lounge chair? Mm -hmm. You'd like to roll a couple of these into your bedroom, wouldn't you? Yeah. I got some dirty old ones you can have. No. You sure? Yeah. I mean, these are expensive, man. This is like Ethan Allen furniture here. No? You sure? Yeah. Yeah, well, they're like, they're expensive tires. The cheap Chinese tires were expensive, too. They were 332 bucks a piece. $332 a piece for the tires. These tires here were over $400, but because they didn't have the tires I wanted, they gave them to me for a discounted price of $375. Um, somebody just asked me what I paid for that one-inch impact gun, Tim. Can you believe that? They're like, wow, that's a nice gun. What'd you pay for it? Well, I gotta say, there was a uh, Ingersoll gun there. This is a Chicago pneumatic, right? Chicago pneumatic. Yes. This is quite the amazing gun. Anyways, this gun cost me five hundred and forty-nine dollars. That's almost that's almost the same price as what that rim cost. What rim? When I had that accident. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyways, too much air in it. Yeah. Anyways, not only did I get the gun for five hundred and forty-nine dollars. I got this awesome one inch impact set. Five it, pieces. Five pieces. We got, let's see, 33 millimeter, one and a half thin wall, one and an eighth, one and a quarter, and a 13 16 square. Made in Taiwan. And Taiwan steel is not bad. It's the Chinese steel you gotta worry about. Hey, don't over under inflate that though. So yeah, Chinese steel's a pain in the ass. But anyways, we're down to the last tire that needs to be. We're putting 100 pound of air into them. What do you got? I told you, it took too much out. And again, 10 more pound in there. 100 pound of air in these. Uh, we got this one here to do yet. And then I have to change the front ones. I'm getting pretty tired though. How about you, Tim? You getting tired? I could get out of this damn furlough. Me too. We had a hell of a day today, didn't we, Tim? What happened today, Tim? Um, I decided to put 2,4-D in the... Uh, you didn't decide to put 2,4-D. No, D. you told me to put 2,4-D in the sprayer and it clumped up. Yes, in the fertilizer. 2,4-D in the fertilizer. And it didn't gel like you would think it would gel. This shit turned to sand. Sand! Instantly. Instantly. What a mess. Oh, my God. The foam turned to sand. Uh, it was just a mess. Plugged up filters, screens, oh my god, strainers, the deeper creepers, till finally we got it going. A job that should have took me no more than three hours to do, took all freaking day. So anyways, alright, he's going to slide that tire over here, and we're going to mount this last one. We might as well videotape it, right Tim? Okay, so here we go. Let me get my camera set up. And I'm going to hear everybody piss and moan because I'm going to use fire. Gosh. What? <laughs> well, you ain't going to get it on backwards, but yeah, okay. La, la, la. Oh, no. Have you ever heard of a tire blowing up? Oh, no, oh, sir. My name is Mickey Mouse. Well, what? I don't think they blow up. What was that phone call? What was that phone call that you called me or you told me? Mama 
paws don't let the goddamn piece of shit trucks not go. Hold on. Take them out the bottom. Wait, 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 what? My gun. <laughs> Your gun? God, why is it that I buy shit and you claim it? Because I use it. You use it? Okay, so um, before you use that thing, Tim, do the top one first. Are you ready? Watch this shit. So anyways, uh, this impact gun... particular impact gun was bought at Napa. They are running a sale right now on that very same impact gun. I think it's due through till June 15th if I'm correct, but I know it's definitely May 15th till, it's probably May 15th to June 15th, or maybe it's June 20th, I don't know, something like that. So if you are interested in that particular gun, you need to get down to Napa 549 with, with, this toolkit. I love it. Tim loves it. Don't you don't you love it? I might even be able to get Tim to do more work. Right, Tim? Right, Tim? Yeah, you evil child. <laughs> he loves that stupid thing. Alright. Alright, well I'm gonna have to put these nuts on this uh, tire here so when he gets around yeah, when he gets around here then he can just spin them on. You got a hair trigger? What are you going to do? Hook that up to like a 50 cal or something and put, make it full auto? Mm. Ah, quit wasting my air. I got to breathe that stuff, you know. Put the bottom one so it don't pinch. Top and bottom, boy. Get the top one now. It's it, it, it let loose. What'd you do? Get dirt in your eye? Yeah. That's why you're supposed to wear safety glasses. Yeah, that's it. Safety stump me. Tim? What? Like watching paint dry? Yeah. That's one nasty gun though. We don't even have it set up right. We, we've got a small a small fitting going into this big this big gun. It's not even the right size fitting so it doesn't get the quite quite enough airflow. but it is one wicked gun I gotta say. Anyways that's enough for that. So I'm just gonna say now thanks for I pick on Tim, but he loves me anyway, doesn't he? Yeah. You love me, Tim? Oh, you're just a good judge. <laughs> anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.